Hello and welcome to another Hibs match vlog. Today is Aberdeen at home, it is my birthday and I sincerely hope that Hibs don't manage to mess up another birthday for me. But it's Hibs, it's football, it's Aberdeen is the opponent and I don't have particularly high hopes but we won Hibs. Come on. I'll see you at I'll see I'll see you later on. Hello, it is now um, 10 to 11 on the Saturday evening. Got back at about, got home at about 10 o'clock after, after a bit of shopping and a dinner in, dinner in town after the match. So now I'm here to round off this match vlog. Apologies that there wasn't an awful lot of content actually. In the vlog, in terms of what I've filmed, I wanted to more enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy the day out for my birthday today. Obviously, you'll have seen the goals. I'll have put the goals in the video, so you'll have seen those. I didn't do any filming of the actual pitch during the game today because I was, I was out with my mum. I was out with my mum today at the match, and I wanted to engage with her during during the match instead of getting my phone out every five seconds to film something. Yeah, apologies for that. I'm sure it's probably fine because it's my birthday. <laughs> and yeah. <clears throat> See I didn't I don't know an awful lot about, about their goal. Obviously you'll have seen it. And then our goal was the it was Paul McGinn. The stadium announcer, I think, said Paul Hanlon initially and then corrected himself. I didn't hear what he said when he was correcting himself. I just assumed that I assumed that he must have made a mistake because I'm pretty. Well, I didn't see I didn't see Paul Hanlon take a shot. That's all from where I was at in the ground. But yeah, good overall performance. Good save. I remember a very good save from the Aberdeen goalkeeper to deny Melkerson in the first half. Should have should definitely have been in front of should have definitely been in front in the first half for Melkerson, but unfortunately not. Then obviously they well they punished us for not taking our chances. And couldn't I wouldn't say they, they deserved to be in front, but at that point, we hadn't taken our chances, and then they took, then they took the one chance that they, that, didn't, that they needed to take to go in front at that point in the game. And obviously, we managed, we did manage to get back in, to go back, to get ourselves back level, which was great. And a point that sees Aberdeen above avoid being dragged into the into the playoff place. Not that I would anyway, I think, I think St. Johnston, I think St. Johnston dropped points again. So, <laughs> so, so I think they're almost guaranteed in the, so I think they're probably almost guaranteed in the playoff place now, St. Johnston. Who obviously will play next weekend, next Sunday, there'll be a match vlog for that game. And, <clears throat> as for the next Next game is obviously Tuesday. It's Dundee away. I won't be there. I'll be watching from home. I 
I'll have to see what I'm doing on Tuesday night. See what's going on. I think I may end up just watching the game myself. Probably downstairs when I'm having my dinner. Or have dinner before the game or to have dinner after the game, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah. I'll probably say something in the preview and I got that'll go out on Monday. Anyways, thank you for watching this vlog. Thank you. Thank you for watching again. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.